G'day guys, Mackie with the Ass Circle. Um, this is take two at trying to record this video today. The first time I tried to record it, the uh, recording actually crashed at the end of it, which was a bit of a shame. Um, but anyway, the topic at hand. I was originally going to talk some more about like 7th ed and 8th ed and how it affects the heresy and blah blah blah, but some interesting events happened um, over the course of today that have really helped to solidify a few thoughts I've been having lately. And that's the whole whack faggotry thing. Now, people may be asking at home, what the fuck is whack faggotry? Whack faggotry is win at all costs, right? And that's the players who come out into our communities and they come out with the intention solely of kicking dicks in, right? And these players, man, they happen everywhere, right? And the thing is, often the 30k community, like, comes down on them like a ton of bricks and all of a sudden you end up with just big flame wars in the comment sections on forums or um, on Facebook, at events, things like that. And I want to sort of talk about why that is and sort of some of the better ways that we can deal with it. So, obviously 30k players come off as very fucking elitist to some people. But I want to assure you, um, 30k players are not elitist. They're just protecting their own best interests, which is 30k. You see, most people, I mean a, a vast majority of the people who are playing 30k are former 40k players, right? They're not people who are new to the hobby in general. And the reason they got into 30k in the first place is because 40k, massive clusterfuck at the moment, right? A lot of us made the transition back in 6th edition, more and more have come over in 7th edition. For us, the 8th edition rulebook um, hasn't been a huge issue and although there is some divide in the community over it, um, it's nowhere near as heated as uh, what's going on with the 40k fan base. Because for us, 7th edition has been kind. And part of that is because Forge World had a pretty tight rule set, right? And because of communities as a whole, have generally um, policed themselves rather well. Um, especially the events, there's a real emphasis on narrative and not building those dick lists that are going out there just to smash faces. So, when someone does come along and they ask a question like, can I put Demon Primarch Magnus and Magnus the Red from 30k into the same list? What sort of response do you think the community as a whole is going to give to that? I can assure you it's not going to be overwhelmingly fucking positive, right? Because people went to 30k to escape that sort of shit, to escape that meta building, to escape d crap, right? And what's worse is, this is coming from my own groups of players, Thousand Suns players, right? I'm a Thousand Suns player. I've been playing Thousand Suns or Zench Marines in some form or another for 23 years now, right? I was playing back when Zench didn't even have a proper identity formed, where, yeah, he's the god of change, but, you know, your Marines are this. Uh, that doesn't look right, you know? And Anyway, things were a bit different back in the realms of Chaos days. So, obviously people are very protective. We don't want to see 30k devolve into what 40k is. Part of the problems that 40k is having now with this 8th edition is that drastic change that's happening, that's not because Jane, uh, Jane, Games Workshop thinks that 8th edition is um, the right thing to do. It's because Games Workshop thinks it's the necessary thing to do, for better or worse, whether it's dictated by money or feedback or who knows what. They need a drastic change from 7th. Why is that? It's because 7th was ruined, right, by a combination of their rules writing being very fucking open-ended, very open to interpretation, and poorly thought out in many areas, and of course a community who takes full advantage of that. A community that's very complacent. And the worst thing that happens is, once these um, shit-slinging matches start between all the monkeys in the forums, where they start going off at each other and calling each other names, and you're a shit cunt, or you're a fuckhead, right? Someone inevitably pops up, white knighting for the whack players, and they go, you know what, it's his hobby, it doesn't affect you. And that is just the worst attitude of all. Because one, you're condoning what they're doing, and two, you're... What's the best way of putting this? Um, I think for a moment here. You're not only are you condoning their hobby, 
but you're saying to them like, you know, if you do do this, you're not going to get feedback and someone's going to come and defend your poor life choices. And that's what they are. Because up until 8th edition, no edition of 40k has been competitive based, right? And we don't even know to what extent 8th edition is competitive based yet, because they won't release the full details for it. Now, every edition has always been about forging the narrative, building your own games, you know, just having fun with the models you've got, and this, that, and the other. No edition has been about, hey, how much dick kicking can you do with your army, right? So when someone comes along and they say, I want to make a dick kicking army with two Magnus the Reds in it, obviously people are going to be like, don't do that, please don't do that, right? Except they're not going to say it that way. They're going to be like, fuck that off, that's what ruined 40k, that's why 40k is getting this massive drastic overhaul. The last thing we want is to have you coming into 30k and bring all that same shit across. Because 30k, 30k is doing pretty well for itself. Right? So, it's not an elitist thing. I, I have to just really ram this point home. It's not 30k players being elitist. There's nothing elitist, right, about wanting your game to remain in a good state, right? I'm not saying remain pure and that it's the best thing ever, but, you know, the last thing you want is to be having people come across with these bad attitudes and then morphing 30k into just another 40k right you already have a game you can do that with and it's called 40k now when i make statements like i think the majority of players think this or i think most players think this that kind of thing i don't have the responsibility or the right really to say that but i can also make an educated guess because i have a lot of reach thanks to youtube right I get to see a lot of other people's videos. I get to read a lot of comments. Believe me, I read a lot of comments um, on our channel. I read them all, in fact. The other podcasts, whether I'm starring on them, or I shouldn't say starring, we'll say sadly featuring on other podcasts or on other community things, um, in battle reports to people, things like that, I'm, I'm going out and I'm talking to these people. And believe it, we, we do talk to each other, right? Podcasts, um, you know, I talk to guys in America, I talk to guys in Sweden, and everyone talks to everyone, right? You can build up a really, really accurate picture of where the community's at. I can tell you for a fact that in America, narrative and competitive, just as valued as one another, right? There are narrative comp well, events in America, but there's also a lot of competitive shit in America, right? In Australia and New Zealand, very, very narrative driven. Um, competitive guys, like torches and pitchforks, hey, they get chased down and murdered here. Um, there is a, a group of people in Australia who, I won't name names, but basically they think they're king shit and they want to try and own it. They want to own the heresy community for themselves. Um, and they're 40k players. They're not actually people who are doing much in the heresy at this point in time, but they want to get their fingers over it and, you know, because they run a lot of big tournaments. But overall, you know, they're, they're the minority, not the majority. And I think they would get great backlash from the actual 30k community if they tried that. You've also got um, places like Europe. Eastern Europe, very narrative. Western Europe, split between narrative. Um, and when I say narrative, it's really just people who want to play very casually and just love painting their shit. Um, and people who want to play competitively, you know. And they're catered to as well. So... You know, it's interesting to see, you know, what's going on around the world. And I think there's nothing wrong with telling people that what they're doing is wrong. And I know that's a very loaded statement to make, but like I said before, no edition of 40k has been about, or, you know, 30k, has been about building the most powerful list you can. So if you go out and you announce to everyone that your intention is to make a really nasty list just to win games, you're going to get a very nasty reception. You know, I, I should think that it's common sense that you know what you're getting yourself into, but apparently it's not, and here we are. So, I want to know from the people who are listening to me now, um, to this little micro-ramble that I've had, how do you deal with it? What's your community like? Are you playing 30k? Are you playing 40k? What has driven you away from 40k or brought you to 30k? 
What is driving you away from 30k? Do you think 30k players are elitist for trying to um, keep the 40k mindset as it's sort of known away? Right? Please, thoughts and comments below, and I'll see you all next time.